Ethan Bull. You the man. Moats, what have your thoughts been on Tuska? Okay. I played against him in high school and have enjoyed watching his growth to this level. Yeah. Um. So for those who don't know, Derek Tuska, he's the uh, number 48 for us now. He just got signed to the active roster officially. Um. But in terms of Derek, I thought he was productive in the game. Now, we have to remember, he's not TJ Watt, right? So the expectations weren't going to be the same for that. But uh, what he had with six tackles, um, I thought his effort looked really good. Um, he was actually one of the guys I was talking about when I said, you look at certain players being out there and while everybody else isn't playing with their hair on fire, certain guys that are like running around like a madman out there. Derek was one of those dudes. Every time he was on the field, his effort was insane. I did like that about him. I think he has a good length. He's just young. And with young players, I mean, it just is what it is right now. You know, he's going to have his growing pains, but I don't think, you know, he's going to be outside of injuries. I don't think we'll see a ton more of him in that role. That was more so in terms of him being on defense. That was more so because you didn't have TJ. You didn't have Highsmith. Um, Jameer obviously was having to come in and out a little bit. And we saw what happened after the game with him as well, just because the productivity and stuff like that. But to me, man, I, I, I liked initially what I saw with Derek. I'm going to be interested to see how it goes this week, though, because as I always say with young players, it's a lot easier when you're the new guy, right? Before the tape is out on you to come in here and have some plays, um, have a good rush here or there, right? But the more you play, the more teams will get a tape on you. And then the more they can figure out what you do well and how to attack you. So that's the part I want to see. The The longer we're dealing with the injuries to TJ and Alex, how long, you know, until he keeps improving and growing before teams catch up to what he's been able to do. But my initial thoughts, though, I did like his game, man. And that's dope that y'all played in high school together, too. I'd rather just have TJ Walton Highsmith back. Yeah. I get what you're saying, though. Yeah, because, I mean, in a perfect world, sure. But we know that it's not perfect right now. And it's still a very realistic chance that with TJ Watt, with this growing injury that he's dealing with, that he could come out there and play and he could very well go back out the game again, you know, at some point in it, because with growing injuries, they're soft tissue. When you talk about a guy that didn't do the full team reps during training camp, your body hasn't hardened, hasn't calloused for that just yet. And as much as we, you know, see him come out there and play really well in his first game, the recovery from that, getting your body back acclimated because you don't have the luxury of time anymore. You can't say, well, hey, man, I went hard today. I get to chill throughout this and then we'll go hard again there. I mean, in the season is week to week. You got to play. You got to perform. So we already seen how he was kind of, you know, put in that situation with the growing now. So. I, I mean, we'll, we'll talk about it right now, man, in terms of how we feel about TJ's participation this week. Today, tomorrow, Friday's practice participation is key to me. Like, yeah, if he's full, then I love it. If he's full participant, yes, you play him on Sunday. If he is limited and you don't feel he is 100% healthy, do not put that man out there on Sunday because all you are going to do is set him back and make this thing go on even further. And we know with the way this team is set up right now, he can't miss that much time. He can't. So to me, I would still err on the side of caution if that means I'm going to get him back for the long haul. Well, you know what? I want to talk about my threads here because, you know, these are one of our sponsors right here, right? Into yeah. the AM. I mean, they do got some phenomenal looking stuff. I mean, when we talk about how this thing looks as as I get the logo up here on the website. But, dude, just check it out, mate. We got the bear. And he looked like he going on a fun ride. Where's he at? Wyoming? Montana? Man, man you, you know what? It might be, let's go U-Dub. Uh -huh. We might be in Wyoming. Could be Mars. Could be the backside of that red planet. And he just going on one of the magical rides. But we talk about Into the AM, right? And how ultimately, they always are about providing content, or excuse me, providing hot merchandise for the content creators like ourselves, man. With awesome threads, which by the way, I do do feel good in this and you see the color on it baby you can't go wrong but not just that man we got a couple cool things going on with into the am as we already said before man if you use the promo code motes 10 you'll get 10 percent off of your purchases but more importantly man they got these cool deals going on that you can actually combine that promo code with so for example three dollars I mean, you can get three of these graphic style tees for $60, but when you use that promo code, Modes 10, you get your 10% off. Ha ha ha. Now you see how we cooking over here, along with, for the people that like the basic tees, because I remember you, Deke, you was like, you know, the graphic tee, that's more your style, Modes, but I'm a little bit more reserved. I can see. Yeah. Plain white tee that. or something with mm -hmm. the little logo on the side. That, that's it. Maybe one of the long sleeve shirts. Same. 
Can't just a little logo. Can't Something you could that. layer with, you know, especially with fall coming up. Can't go wrong with that at all. They got those options as well. Three dot or three shirts for three or thirty nine ninety five, not forty thirty nine ninety five. So you can get three of those basic tees with that. But make sure you use that promo code Motes ten. And once again, let me put that up here for you. Bam. 